Hi, welcome to the other side of my room. Um, this might be my most random video as of late, but I have been having this problem where I buy too many books. Shocking, I know, but I've been having this problem. So I have like so many books that like have no spot on my shelves or like I just don't know how to organize. So I was like, let me just like sit down, force myself to do it by recording it and then we'll just go at it and like figure something out. This is one of my many bookshelves in my room. You can also see like over there, I have like a another bookshelf. Um, and then I have the one that I usually film with over here. Like I have so many, everyone's like bookshelf tour. I'm like, let me get a handle on things first um, because it's crazy and my room looks like Alaska's and it's fun, but it's chaotic and crazy. So I'm gonna organize. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. I'm gonna just talk and we can chill out. Hopefully this is just like a nice little relaxing video to watch. Um, also, today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. More on that later. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring. I love working with them. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. But yeah, I don't even know where to start with this. I think I'm gonna go like cubicle by cubicle. This one was doing well and it started falling apart. Like I have Beach Read here and I had Emily Henry's other book, but it got destroyed at the ocean. Um, the high Tide really just got my ass basically and it totally like drifted away into the water and it like is ruined so I gave it to somebody else because I can't collect ruined books it's just like not the aesthetic of my shelves so I gave it away but I'm gonna buy another copy so now it's just like by itself which is annoying because this was like my or I guess it's not I was gonna do like multiple of the same authors but maybe that's what I'll do but anyway I asked you guys um to ask me things on Instagram but I feel like mostly it just ended up being like people wanting like life updates from me so I have some updates um the first major one was about my book which like oh my god do you guys remember that I was writing on Wattpad probably not because it's been so long since I've updated um but I had my book on there friends lovers or nothing I'm on chapter 31 so there's 30 chapters which is a lot like I wrote 30 chapters of this book and it's on Wattpad it did decently well like people will enjoy reading it I know a lot of you guys enjoy reading it um and I love the story I love these characters like more than you know so it kind of just like hurts that it's so hard for me to keep writing but I want to I need to the next chapter is basically written I just need to finish up a few things and I want to post it but I know if I post it and then I don't post again for like a month. I'm just gonna be like so overwhelmed by it again. But I will say I have a clear ending for the book. Like I've planned out every last chapter of it. So to not finish it would just be so horrible on my part. And I want to finish it so bad. So I think I'm going to. Or not, I know I'm going to. I don't know when. But I know I'm going to finish it at some point. Because it actually means so much to me that people care. Um, and everybody that messages me like, where's the next chapter of Friends Lovers or Nothing, thank you because that's like the push that I need every single time I see a message like that. I'm like, oh yeah, like I need to figure something out. Um, so I'm going to keep writing it. I will. I'll finish it eventually. But if you've never known that I have a book on Wattpad, it's called Friends Lovers or Nothing. It's about this girl who is in her first year of college. It's very like coming of age. It's a romance, obviously. Um, and yeah, I really, really enjoy writing it. I love the book. I'm very proud of what I've put into it. And I'm happy that you guys like it. So definitely go check it out if you haven't. Um, but no promises on when the next chapter will be out. I need to work on that. Another like passion project of mine that's been kind of put on hold for a few months is my ASMR channel. Remember my ASMR channel? <laughs> this video is just me being like, remember when I did this? Yeah. Um, but if you guys didn't know, I have, oh, those are different. Mm, that's not going on the same shelf. Um, if you guys didn't know, I have an ASMR channel. Um, it's called Lemon ASMR. And I was posting on there for like pretty regularly for a while. It's just so hard to film ASMR videos at my house. I live on a main road, as you guys might even be hearing throughout this video. I live on a main road, so it's just constantly so loud and chaotic that when I use the really nice microphone that I have for ASMR, it just picks up everything. And maybe it's something like with the settings I can play around with to get better quality, but oh. Guys, I just bought this and it's like not the same size as the other books. I might freak out. <laughs> I might literally freak out. No, you're joking. 
<laughs> Does anybody else like not vibe with this? Like I, I don't know what to do about it. Like I really am having like a crisis right now. I don't know what to do about that. Is Daisy gonna have to go by herself? I just bought her. Are you guys excited for this movie? My friends are like convincing me to read it because they're all like really hyped for the movie. So I'm like, I'll read it. I'll do it, but I won't put it on this bookshelf. Now I just don't know what to do with this. So hold up. Anywho, so like I was saying, the settings for my ASMR mic, I have them a certain way. I don't know if it has to do with that, why the sound is like picking up every little thing. Either way, it just picks up a lot of sound and ASMR is also very time consuming to film. You have to set aside a lot of time to do a video. Like it honestly can take an hour to two hours just to film one video and then to have to edit it as well. It's very time consuming and I love doing it. I've had so much fun with the previous ASMR videos I've done. Um, I already tried that, didn't I? And my channel has even like garnered like a new audience of people that I don't even think watch me here, which is really cool to see, obviously. And I love the fact that people enjoy my ASMR. It's the biggest compliment. So I definitely think it's something that will be revisited and I will get back to making videos because I think it's so fun, even if it's just like a random hobby of mine. Like, I really enjoy doing it. I love ASMR. I've been an ASMR fanatic for like eight years or something. Like I've been a watcher for a long time. So I think it'd be really cool to, you know, keep up with that and keep doing it. This is just starting to look really random and the whole point was like to organize it. So I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll start playing around with the ones that are like already on the shelf. At this rate, I really just all want them to be the same height. I don't really care about if they're in a series or not or whatever. I would like them to be the same height. So that's what we're focusing on. Dang, none of these are the same height. Um, okay, I'll figure this out. Another thing people want me to address, which is understandable, is um, after, and if I'm ever gonna talk about after again. And the truth is, probably not. And I know that's definitely disappointing for a lot of you because a lot of you guys have come to my channel through after and because I talked about it. And I am so grateful for that and I really just appreciate every single person that has come on this journey with me and followed me because of my after videos and that was just such a fun, amazing, incredible time of my life. I'll never forget um, how high energy everything was during, you know, the development of that first movie and just how much I enjoyed my time online during that period. Um, it was a really hard year for me, that whole first year where I started doing after content. I was a junior in college, I had just moved out of my house, um, and I went away to college. So it was my first time in a different environment. I was basically alone. I lived with my best friend, but he had crazy classes. He was like a biology major. He had all these other friends. He was a senior, I was a junior. So I hung out with him obviously, but he has like a whole other life at college. My college experience was just really different than the average person. And so a lot of the time I was just at home or at my apartment, I should say, and alone. And having after as like a thing to fall back on, a thing to talk about, a thing to make videos about and engage with people online, it was like the best timing that it could have been for me. It was such an exciting time. So many people were finding me online, wanting to talk about books, wanting to talk about after, and it was just like a really high point for me, which I think really worked out because in real life it was a low point so it was really nice to have that community and I will never regret that time. I think it really just changed me and I have made some of my best friends from that time period of my life and I would never take that back. However, you know, people grow, people change and now I'm almost 24 years old. I love After, I love Anna, and I would never take that back. After was a huge part of my upbringing. It's a book that I read when I was in high school, and it kept me warm through those hard college years where I was alone most of the time, and I had a community to fall back on, and that loved me and loved hearing me talk about books and talk about the movies and stuff, and I could never repay that feeling to my subscribers. Like I can never thank you guys enough for that. However, the one thing I refuse to do is be inauthentic on my channel. And for me to sit here and talk about after now 
it would be inauthentic to me because it's not a big part of my life anymore. Back then it was, it definitely was. I talked about after every single day, I thought about after every single day. It was like my biggest obsession at the time. And now it's just different. You know, people have phases, people grow in and out of things, it's just human. And there's really no reason for why that is, it's just how it happened. And you know, I obviously was following um, the progression of the first movie being made and I ended up watching the first movie and to be honest, you guys know, like, I didn't love it. It wasn't my favorite movie ever. It was not what I was expecting. And, you know, naturally I just kind of fell out of love with talking about the series and talking about the movies and all that stuff. And, you know, at the time it was so fun for me and then it didn't feel fun anymore. So I stopped and I just, I don't talk about it anymore. So I'm really sorry that that disappoints so many people that watch me and follow me or originally followed me for that kind of content. It really saddens me that I can't be that for people anymore. Um, I will say I'm gonna go see the third movie in theaters next week when it comes out um, and I'm planning on vlogging next week so hopefully I can give you guys like a taste of my review in that video because I know so many people have been asking and you know I will give you that but I really can't promise full-fledged after videos moving forward and like I said I'm really sorry if that's disappointing to some people um, but it's just how it is for me and I know this was such a long spiel but I feel like I needed to get it off my chest. So many people in my comments ask me where my videos about After are and it just is like kind of burdened me. I haven't really known what to say but that's the truth. Not to interrupt myself either but can we talk about these hardcovers I got? Gianna got these really cool Fallen Men hardcovers with females on the cover. The female characters, I'm legit obsessed with them. So now I have these and I don't know where to put them because I have the other Fallen Men books on my other shelf, but that shelf is like completely full. So I really don't know what to do. Like I don't think they belong over here. I really don't, so I don't know what to do. But anywho, before I get too ahead of myself yet again, I do want to share more about today's sponsor, which like I told you guys is HelloFresh. They are America's number one meal delivery kit and I really love working with them, so I'm very excited to be doing another video with them and roll the clip. You guys already know what's going on. Like I said, today I am partnering with HelloFresh, which is just so exciting. HelloFresh lets you choose a unique meal plan, such as calorie smart, vegetarian like I get, pescatarian, whatever you want, and they send you a box with fresh, pre-measured ingredients to make delicious meals. It just makes cooking at home so easy, fun, and affordable, honestly. With my coupon code, you can get a really good deal. Um, every recipe is packed with super high quality produce, as you can see here, and just really sustainable ingredients that are pre-measured, pre-portioned, so it's like super simple, like zero advanced chef skills needed, impossible to mess up. Um, you can see here I'm prepping some of the, the green onions, super easy. HelloFresh just really makes like meal prepping really stress-free and it makes it so that you can have a meal ready in like 30 minutes or less, so it's just super simple. Um, I really like HelloFresh for the versatility. I love trying new things without really having to think about it. I also really love how HelloFresh is using recyclable material and they set off 100% of their carbon emissions, which is really important to me. And personally, I just think it's a great option, especially for those weeknights where you just literally cannot be bothered to cook something. It's so much easier to just throw together a HelloFresh meal in literally minutes and you'll have it all ready and good to eat. All the meals are absolutely delicious, customizable. You'll see here this recipe had Brussels sprouts. I don't love them, so I kept them out and I still had an amazing pasta dish that was really good. And I saved the Brussels for somebody else sharing the meal with me. So it worked out perfect, but I really want you guys to have a chance to try HelloFresh. So if you'd like to use my code, it is LikeLara14, and that will get you 14 free meals across five boxes of HelloFresh. You can visit the link in my bio for more details. I highly, highly urge you guys to check out the program. I really think you'll be so highly satisfied with the meals, how effective and easy they are. But overall, I just highly recommend if you guys do check them out, of course, let me know what you think. And yeah, back to the video. 
Okay, so I hope you guys will take advantage of that coupon. Really, really good stuff. I'm obsessed with HelloFresh. But anyways, so kind of rolling off what I was talking about before with my college experience, I do want to address that because a lot of people actually were asking for like college advice and tips for going into college, which college is such a crazy, exciting time. And I know a lot of people have a lot of nerves surrounding it, um, myself included when I was in college. A lot of people also ask me like what my major is. I've graduated college. Um, I graduated in 2020. 20 with my degree in English, specializations in creative and formal writing. So that's my degree. I already graduated. I have a full-time job. Um, so yeah, but a lot of people have so much, you know, stress surrounding the idea of college and the idea of like how it's going to go. And I feel like you really can't sit around and just like give yourself an anxiety attack about what's going to happen when you go to college or how it's going to be, how it's going to play out. Like you can never predict that kind of stuff. You just kind of have to go into it. And I also just don't think I'm the most qualified to talk about my college experience because I had such an odd one. But then again, maybe my random odd college experience will actually resonate with some of you. So I will kind of give you guys my feel on it. Why do none of these authors match up the sizes of their books like this why who did this why why did they choose this for the sake of being completely transparent even though it's super embarrassing I was a horrible student in high school I did not take school seriously I didn't do any of my work I didn't do any of my assignments I really just did not flourish in the high school environment. I would go to school every day so anxiety ridden over like not doing my assignments and then I would have this whole day of just like being nervous to go to class knowing I didn't prepare, like knowing I just didn't know anything. And I would come home and it's like, now I'm gonna what, sit and do homework? Like no, so I would avoid my work and it would just be this endless cycle. So in conclusion, I graduated high school by the skin of my teeth. I basically graduated with like a 1.9 GPA, which if you have a lower GPA than 1.9, I really congratulate you for beating me on that one, but that's really not <laughs> killing it. Um, it was enough to graduate. I think I graduated like 108th out of 118 people in my class. Like, really? So immediately like going to a four-year school was out of the question like nobody would accept me unless I applied to some extremely expensive private university and that was not going to happen because I had to pay for college on my own so I'm like that's not realistic. My best bet was to go to community college which I did. I went to community college for two years and going into community college I was like you know what, like this is my one chance to like take things serious and really change the trajectory of what my life is gonna be. If I flop at college, like then what am I gonna do? And obviously college isn't for everybody. You can totally have a successful and wonderful career without college. But at this point I was really um, set on studying English and that was what I wanted to do. So college was the route for me. And I was like, obviously I have not been excelling previous to this. And I need to step up my game if I want to, you know, make something of myself. So I did just that. I enrolled in community college and I graduated from community college after two years with a 4.0, which sounds nuts. But if you actually put your mind to something, you can do well. Who would have thought? Like literally who would have thought? So I really changed like my work ethic. My, my college experience definitely made me into a way better student than I had ever been. And I just want to say if you're in the boat of like you either don't have the money or you don't have the grades and you have to go to community college, it is such an amazing investment in yourself. I'm so proud of anybody who chooses to go to community college. I know it's not always the popular choice or the choice that you want, but going to community college literally changed my life. And every class that I took at my community college, in comparison to when I then transferred to a really popular four-year school, I felt like the classes were of the same level. The professors were all similar. Like it felt the exact same as my four year school in comparison to the classes. Obviously community college, there isn't like a social life thing. Um, there's no dorm. So if that's your goal, like it sucks that community college doesn't have that or most don't. Um, but I've never been like a social butterfly type person. I went to community college and just went to class, came home, did my work. And that was that. Like, I was never really intent on being a big partier or a big social person. So 
obviously that might be some people's like issue with it but I promise you you can get a similar education at a community college but I graduated I got my associates in English and then I decided I was gonna go to a four-year school so that I could get my bachelor's and I originally was gonna go to a school really nearby my house like 10 minutes up the road and it's a good school it's a state school um, and I was gonna go there but my friend my best friend Matt he was going to UMass Amherst I'll just say that was the school I went to um, UMass Amherst which is a really good school here in Mass it's a public university but it's nice um, and he was going there and he's like you should apply to UMass and I was like why would I go there it's like a party school I'm not into that Sorry, I'm trying to get you guys in the frame of the books. I have like this old book box back here. My camera died. So I was saying, basically, to make a long story short, Matt convinced me to apply to UMass and I got in and I decided to go. And it was really random because I had no intent on like living away from home or anything like that. But obviously UMass is like two hours, oh, give or take, from my house. So it was like, I was not gonna be commuting. I had to move. Um, out on my own these aren't I thought they were the same height they're not okay um, so basically I had to move I had to be on my own at the time I was dating my current boyfriend drew and he lives here so I was moving away from him um, I had a few friends that were like at college but none that I was like super close with anymore so going to UMass I was basically just becoming vulnerable it's a school of 30,000 people and I'm not a go out type of person which is I think why it's hard for me to give college advice because I'm like yeah take college advice from me the girl who went to community college for two years and then went to a huge university huge party school for two years but sat in her apartment and did nothing Take advice from me um but maybe that's some people's experience maybe not everybody is obsessed with going out and partying and doing things like i was super content staying at home and i think like i said a lot of it has to do with the fact that i was really thriving online at the time i was doing all of my after content and that really kept me busy so that i'm just so thankful for but i basically was just by myself for two years i lived with matt for the first year and then i moved into an apartment by myself for my senior year and i would literally go to class and go to the store go to wherever i needed to go and then go to my apartment and do nothing but like talk to my friends online and that might not be what people want to do when they go to college some people want to go out and have experiences and stuff like that but i have never regretted my decision to just stand by the type of person i am which is like a homebody um during my college experience i don't feel like i missed out i don't feel like i regret what my experience was it's authentic to me and i think that's really the message I'm trying to give is like whatever's authentic to you and what you want your college experience to be do it or else you might have regrets and you know if you're the type of person who wants to go out wants to party go do that like that's fine if you're the type of person who doesn't like to go out and you feel pressured to you don't have to you can do what I did just hang out by yourself I'm like a very independent person I am convinced that I could be the last person on earth and do just fine I I really am just so independent and just thrive being by myself which I know is hard to hear like people that are close to me it's hard to hear that but it's true um so, you know, just be authentic to yourself. I've never been the type of person to go out to party. I feel like a lot of people will have the advice of like, go out, have experiences, do things, like whatever. And that's like a really good piece of advice and I think people should take it. But I think my advice is more so stay true to yourself and whatever is authentic to your experience will just come. I think that way you'll really find your tribe. If you're the type of person who wants to go out and party, you'll find people like-minded. If you're the type of person who stays in, maybe you'll find people that will stay in with you or maybe you'll do it on your own like I did. I think it just happens how it's meant to happen and don't let people make you feel bad for your choice. I am somebody who doesn't drink alcohol, I don't do drugs, I'm very just like straight laced and I never let anybody make me feel bad for that decision or feel lesser than or like I'm lame or anything because I just don't care. It's just who I am and you know people that are in my life respect that and love me for it. So you'll find people that respect and love you for all of you and who you are. So if you're in college and you're stressed about what it is that you feel like you have to do, just focus more on things that you want to do and it'll come natural I think so I tried that already 
Um, so yeah, that's my advice. And you know, maybe it's bad. Oh well, I'm not certified. What do you want from me? <laughs> Guys, I don't even want this book on my shelf, TBH. I was gonna do a whole rant review on this book. Look at all the tabs, like I was over it. But then I just decided to be nice and not do it. Honestly, I should have probably, but this book, hated it. Gotta be real. Okay, I feel like I've been talking forever and I've made no progress on my shelf. I really thought this video was gonna be like me completing this bookshelf. It's gonna look so good. Like I really thought that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> but it's just been me talking. Uh, but I feel like the video is long. So maybe I should just cut it here. Yeah, great job, Lara, wow. It's not even how I want it. Like, yeah, you're gonna see the bookshelf tour and it's not gonna look like this, I promise. Um, but it was a good excuse to catch up and have some conversation. I feel like it's just been a hot second. And I really wanna do more vlogs. I know people love the vlogs when I've done them. I don't think they always do like as well as my other videos, but the people that watch them, I know really, really like them. So I like to do them regardless of views. Like, I really don't care. Um, I just wanna do videos that you guys like seeing, so. If you like vlogs, I'm planning on doing one. Um, not like a reading vlog. Well, I, I'm actually, excuse me, I'm planning on doing a reading vlog for The Legacy by L. Kennedy because people are asking. So I'm going to do a reading vlog for that book. I'm doing like a normal vlog because I'm going away next week to be with my best friends. I'm going to Indiana and we're road tripping to Tennessee and we're seeing Harry Styles. I thought that would be a fun vlog. It's both of their birthdays next week. There's going to be a lot of fun stuff. So I thought that would be a really cool vlog to do. And I really want to document it. I've made vlogs with them in the past. Um, these are two of my best friends. If you've watched my Atlanta vlog when we went to the after sets, they're both in that video. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to do another vlog and it's always just the best to go back and rewatch them. So I'm planning on doing that. Hold me to it. It's really hard for me to like remember to vlog, but when I do, it just is always so fun. So I'm going to try to do that. I know it'll be a struggle, but I'm down for the challenge. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm definitely going to be doing more videos in the future. Like I said, keep a lookout for a new chapter of Friends Lovers or Nothing and for a new ASMR video. And if you've never delved into either of those avenues, I'll have both of the links down below, um, along with my HelloFresh link and my coupon code that you can use. I'm really, really excited to be working with them again, and I really just appreciate them working with me on the video. So if you want to go support me, get yourself some meals, check out my coupon code. I promise you guys will be thrilled with the results. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys soon. Um, bookshelf tour incoming at some point. It's, I never said when, but at some point a bookshelf tour is coming and you're going to be taken by surprise when it comes. So keep a lookout. I love you guys. Oh wait. Oh.